stampers welcome to another week of watch it weekly wednesday i'm beth and i wanted to share with you today the blessings of home suite from the current mini catalog this suite features this beautiful blessings of home stamp set and these flowers of home dies it has some beautiful coordinating products which i love so much but when i saw this stamp set i knew that we had to color the images and my mind went first, very, very first, to watercoloring. I loved a sample that I saw in the catalog that looked similar to this that had been done with blends. I'm not great at blending, and so I wanted to give my hand a try at watercoloring with these colors. And that's what I did. This took me a very long time, but I love the way that it turned out. For me, watercoloring is very cathartic. I can sit and do it for a long time and you get to create these beautiful masterpieces that turn out different every time. I wanna show you just a basic way to watercolor one of these pretty flower images from this stamp set. So you need to start with a few products first. You need to have a Stazon ink pad. This ink is a solvent ink, it's not water-based. So when water comes in contact with it, it doesn't run or bleed, it stays put. So your image is gonna stay put. So Stazon ink. You also need to have a water painter which Stampin' Up! sells these. It comes in three, a three pack, and it has different sizes in here, so you can use them for different things. I'm gonna use one of the smaller ones today. These just, the tops just screw off, and you fill them up with water, just from the sink. And then as you watercolor, you squeeze, and you release water as you go. So you can control how much or how little of the ink you want on your paper. I'm going to take this image from the Blessings of Home set, and I'm going to stamp it in stays on ink. I'm going to be using shimmery white cardstock today. I really like to watercolor on this cardstock. Um, it adds a little bit of a sparkle or a sheen to your image, and it just turns out really pretty. So I'm gonna stamp down my image. When you use stays on on your stamps, you need to make sure that you have stays on cleaner. You can't clean this ink because it's more of a permanent ink off of your stamp pads with water you need to use this stronger stays on cleaner. So make sure you've got that in your, in your product as well. Okay, so I'm gonna take my stamp pad, okay? Just like this, and I'm gonna push the middle of it so that I can get some of the ink on the lid of my stamp pad. So when I open it up, I have this little splotch here. You can also take reinker and just drip it right into your lid and use it like a little watercolor tray if that's easier for you. And I'm going to take my pen. It's already wet as I run it on my grid paper here. And I'm going to pick up some of that color. And I'm going to add it to the leaves. I like to start by adding a little bit of a bold line. And then coming back in and shading a little bit more. So these line art images that we've got in these stamp sets make it really easy just to follow the lines. I'm adding garden green right now to all of the leaves just kind of on the veins of the leaves, just like that. And then I'm gonna pick up a little bit more color with more water and come back in and just finish coloring in the leaves. That will just give them a little bit of dimension. Now you can see my black ink isn't running because it's that stays on ink. Once it's dry, it's pretty permanent. So if you get it on your skin or your clothing, it's hard to get out, but it's very, very nice when you're watercoloring. Okay, so after I've done all of the leaves on that flower, I'm just going to squeeze my pen and rub it on my scratch paper until the water runs clear. And then my ink is off of there and I'm ready to add a new color. I'm going to start next with fresh freesia for my big flowers. And again, I'm gonna grab a lot of color and add it to my darker areas where I want a little bit more to accentuate that shading in there. And the stamps kind of do the work for you. They show you where the shading can be, makes it nice and easy. Okay, and after I've got those lines all colored in, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my lid and I'm gonna grab some more color and finish coloring in the details, just like that. So again, squeeze my brush, get all the color off of there, and then, then I'm ready for the bumblebee. I want a darker shade of the bumblebee on these smaller flowers. So I'm going to start with really saturated. I'm not gonna get much water on that tip at all. And I'm gonna put a really dark shade 
of that bumblebee right in the center of those flowers, these little flowers. I want them just to have a little bit more definition. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm actually gonna do that to the center of my bigger flowers on those harsher lines so that I can define those a little bit more with that shading, just like that. Then I'm gonna take my pen with a little bit more water and dilute some of that ink and just go over these flowers so they've got a nice golden color and they're not such a mustard yellow color. The more water, the lighter the color because it just dilutes it, just pulls some of that color out, makes it nice and springy, okay? And I do want this color to be finished in the middle here, just like that. I'm gonna rub my color off and there's my image. Now, these have a die that cut them out. Let me show you my finished project that I used with this. Here's the card. I think it adds so much to have that beautiful watercolored image on there. It makes you feel a little bit like an artist. Let me show you some other projects I've made using this suite of products. Here's this one. I used that same image, just changed the colors a little bit. I cut out the top of the image and just put it on a flat image there so it has a little bit more dimension. And I use the Memories of More Cards and Envelopes from this suite to uh, decorate a little envelope as well. Here's this one again. This is the one I watercolored. It has that larger image. Also features some of the doilies and the ribbon from this suite. So fun. Here's another one. I like this. Have a perfect birthday stamp. Kind of nice and good sentiment. And this is the larger image, again, just watercolored. This is more of a messy watercolor, so it doesn't have so much definition, but I really liked the way that that turned out. Now here's this one with a watercolor wash over the back. In our water painter set, there's a large water painter that has a big paintbrush tip on it. So you can do a really easy watercolor wash, and I just love cards like that. Really quick to make, but has such an impact. And here's my final one. Used the dies to cut out some of the little foliage there and then did that large image in a bunch of different colors. I thought it was so pretty. I hope you've loved this Blessings of Home suite of products. This stamp set will stick around in our upcoming annual catalog, but the paper and the other accessories are not all sticking around. So if you want any of these products before they retire, there are links below this video that you can click on to take you directly to get them and put them in your cart. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. And if you like this, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any Watch It Weekly Wednesday videos going forward. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week.